totally comfortable with it, but I feel like over the years, it's gotten better to accept how I am. Well, I like my body. I think you have to be confident in who you are. Well, I mean, some days it's like really good and then some days it's really bad. Like you look in the mirror and some days you're just like, wow, I look really good today. And then other days it's like, you feel like you look like complete shit and there's nothing you can really do to fix yourself looking like complete shit. So I don't, I don't know, some days it, it varies basically. I don't think there are specifics that I can pinpoint as to what I don't like about my body. There's like imperfections and flaws that I feel like I have, but that I don't think anyone else sees, but I mean, I've been told that I'm pretty and whatever, and it's like, yeah, okay. Your opinion, my opinion's different, I guess. Not the greatest, but use a lot of improvement. I mean, personally, um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Um, it kind of depends on the day if I wake up feeling good or bad, I guess. Um, I don't know, not like the greatest. There's stuff like I could change. I like my body very much. Does does what I need to do. <laughs> well, to be honest, you know, obviously I'm not like in the best shape, so. Obviously I'm not like, oh yeah, I love my body and everything, so. Probably lose a lot of weight and probably maybe be a tad bit taller or maybe have abs. I would probably like to have a little bit of a thinner stomach. Um, my stomach, I think. Yeah. Okay. I would change my fat into muscle. Um, probably my smile. I don't like my smile. Obviously my braces right now. Um, my double chin. <laughs> double chin all the time. Uh, a little pudge. I don't like my pudge. <laughs> like a little roll going on. I guess some of my facial features, like my nose. <laughs> Probably my legs because I don't like how skinny they are. I feel like they're too skinny, and I feel like sometimes people think I look like a malnourished child. Lose weight, that's about it. Probably get my abs back. Um, in some ways, because it's always pushed out there, you know, if you don't think it's impacting you, it is in some way. So, and you're always around it. I think that it's everywhere you look. I think society puts so much emphasis on media and it's everywhere you look, like TV, computer, social media, um, in stores, everything. No, mostly just me and myself. Like. Yeah, I think society definitely has been perpetuating this unsustainable idea of like what a perfect person is. And I think it's like a lot of it's a lot of it's completely unattainable and kind of wrong, but that's just how it is nowadays. Well, I mean, of course, because you see everything that uh, is supposed to represent beauty and it's all tall guys with abs and that's like, super skinny and uh, super muscular and I'm not that, so. Uh, everyone wants you to change your body. So yeah, I think it has a lot to do with it. Yes, definitely. Because you have like all the models and like in stores and on magazines like telling you how you should like be and look and how you're not even like close to that even though you know that all the photos are photoshopped but it's like, yeah, they look like that <laughs> and they're super tiny. I mean, to an extent, I definitely am harder on myself just because of like how I am, but I definitely do think that like looking at magazines and seeing like people with like the perfect bodies and everything is kind of like it gets in your head. I don't know. I feel like they do, but I feel like lately it seemed to be like shifting over towards making you more comfortable about how you are in your own body. Don't let others define you. 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 Don't let others define you.
Don't let others define you. Don't let others define you. Don't let others define you. Don't let others define you. Don't let others define you. Don't let others define you.